Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. George W. The number uh uh po- yeah, podcast and all of uh George Piss Stain Bush. Oh, all of yeah. Why do you sound do you nasally? Sound like yeah, you, you sound, sound like, like welcome Michael back Lane. to the Howard mm. Stern show. Mm. <laughs> Today we're gonna be looking at titties again. It's the world's <laughs> tiredest podcast in all of Dreamland. Go to didn't, sleep. Go to didn't sleep. Didn't you just get a monster like go two minutes ago? Sleep. No. Oh. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking lotion. <laughs> You're drinking lotion? Alpha right, hydroxy therapy lotion. One kind of lotion, what would it be? <laughs> Not. I would have um, drink lotion. Right, Jergens. I have Jergens under my sink right now. I have it next to my bed. I mean, under my I sink. I use too. it to jergen off, if you know what I'm saying. Why do you keep it under your sink, then? That's... Yeah, that's Because I have guests that come over, and I want them to see a fucking Jergens bottle beside my bed. His Jergen lube? So yeah. every time you sit in bed and think, I'm going to, I'm going to yank one you gotta go walk to the kitchen with your i walk to my boner. sink in my bathroom I oh open in the your cabinet. bathroom okay i thought kitchen sink for some reason so i thought you no. just had to walk around why don't you just keep it like under your pillow mast. <laughs> yeah smash your head for into the, the pillow and for the jerk off everywhere. fairy <laughs> no <laughs> yeah, jack so. off fairy you leave it lube and it jacks you off in the night it's just a gay guy I'm pretty sure that's called... It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> a word. Yay. We're not going to say it. No, we're not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> are uh, we podcasting right now? Yeah, we are yeah. podcasting. Are you sure? God, this, this I'm is sure. Just gone. This is where, this is where the yeah the rabbit hill has ended up here. Today. This is where the rubber hill? meets the rabbit the hill. The Why rabbit don't you go hill? wake the up rabbit and let's start hole. over? The rabbit hole. <laughs> Open your stupid ears. Rabbit, rabbit holes. I do. Keep talking. I always, like, <clears throat> misinterpreted that when someone said, go down the rabbit hole. I just started fucking a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got a question for you guys. I can't blame you for that one. <laughs> yeah, can we, can we segue? What inanimate from, object uh, do you wish you could eliminate from existence? I feel like I'm the host um, of Family Feud or something. <laughs> Kim <laughs> Kardashian. Top ten answers. We serve it America. <laughs> Show me <Hey>. dog butthole. <laughs> inanimate object that is... Is Dog that an inanimate hole. object? Uh, my vote's on Kim Kardashian. That's a okay. living human being. Not anymore, uh, McCaskey. Yeah, she's like 95% she plastic. She's literally so. just Chinese plastic. Yeah. I would say <laughs> concrete. <laughs> Why, Why would you, you get, get rid, rid of, of concrete? <laughs> all the buildings, go mud in all the sidewalks. <laughs> you just want you it for mud? You can still do that. <laughs> you can just go to a forest. We all have to go mud down the highway. Get rid of every highway. major city. <laughs> <laughs> New York had to vanish so that I can go mud. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting rid of Brazil. I want to go mud. <laughs> I like what the sound of that. Answer. What the hell was even the question? What inanimate object would you yeah, get rid of? I don't of? know. This an uh, oddly specific question. Like, like, why would you have hatred towards an inanimate object anyway? I don't know. Like, maybe I don't you stubbed it. your toe on a chair and now you're like, fuck chairs. Okay, but then it would just be a table. Any it guitar just, that has play. to do with Steve Vai. Oh, McNasty's not going to like that one. McNasty, your response. Kiss my asshole. Okay, I told you he didn't right. like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I honestly don't have a good answer for this soup. Like, I, I, I've never been like, yeah, fuck that inanimate object. I don't. I'm trying to think of things like an inanimate object that would be annoying, but it's like, why would somebody invent oh. something that's annoying? Nope, I got one. Styrofoam. I hate the sound uh, of it. I hate everything about it. It gets everywhere. It's annoying. Mm. And it barely protects shit because half the time when you smash it, it's it's like just as hard as fucking concrete. Mine would be packing peanuts. Dude, Fuck packing anybody that uses packing terrible. peanuts. Okay, mm. dude, my sister a long time ago tried to convince me that packing peanuts were edible. And I, <laughs> I said, no, they're fucking not. And she ate one and swallowed it in front of me and was like, see, they're edible. What? Like, I could go. I could go eat a fork. It doesn't mean it's edible. <laughs> what the like, fuck, dude? She didn't even dip in ketchup hard enough. No, okay. No, yeah, was she it did like dip? Did she not even like roast it and lightly salt yeah, it? Just, she didn't just do Just a anything? little bit, little little bit of salt, and then like what a little a bit of olive oil in the pan, and just yeah, exactly. That's what I called no it. No season. Oh, I think you're gonna get offended by that. But Canadians whatever. don't season their packing peanuts, and it shows. <laughs> Cringe. It's because they're white. Honestly. <laughs> So I have a yeah. story about styrofoam. So whenever okay. my PC was fucking up, like whenever I first got my PC, they put styrofoam around it, and I kind of okay. ripped it whenever I was getting it out. 
But luckily, right. I, I kept the box in the styrofoam because I, I had to send it back because it was fucking okay. up. So the styrofoam was already kind of like fucky and getting everywhere. And I was like, mm, you know, this fucking computer company would surely replace the styrofoam whenever I go and send it back. And they just reused the same styrofoam. So I opened it and it just it got fucking everywhere. And they reused it every single time. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the styrofoam was just like a little piece of styrofoam by the end it of was, our, like, sending it was, back and it forth. It was their last piece of styrofoam. <laughs> Honestly, dude. Like, they, <laughs> they just completely they couldn't the waste. They couldn't waste, like, an extra five bucks to get, like, <laughs> five the perfect. Bucks. Styrofoam How much like could styrofoam be? Well, I'm yeah, assuming that, like, the perfect fit mold styrofoam yeah. to this computer would maybe be more, but yeah. Maybe they, 30 cents. Yeah, maybe 30 cents. But, like, <laughs> it just kept getting worse and smaller every time. Like, I could tell that they were also struggling with the styrofoam every time they opened it. It was pretty funny. By the time you get it back, it's like a marble in a box. Your computer it, dude, it really was. Around. It was just like just a small like, piece that covered like half of it. This little tiny brick of styrofoam in the bottom, not even <laughs> touching the PC. <laughs> God, that is that is great customer service. Uh, didn't mm -hmm. they also send you back a PC broken three times? Two times, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty epic. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, a that's time. well the the second time. Yeah. Well, I guess the first time would be the first time that I sent it back one time, and the second time that I got it back. <laughs> okay, it hold on. <laughs> so technically, <laughs> the first time. All right, so first when time. I bought it, it was messed <laughs> up. I sent time. it back, it was messed up. <laughs> That'd have to be the second time. <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of math and going then, on right now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> computer the work. Third now, time, I, think. I don't. <laughs> I'm just fucking drooling on my chair. All right. <laughs> you smooth brain ape. Did everybody even anyway. give an, an actual answer other than I feel like I I'm the only one that gave of, an answer. I can't think of an inanimate uh, object. Are flies inanimate objects? I hate flies. No. Those are, those are bugs. It, uh, Do you just, know what an inanimate object is? <laughs> I would get rid of mosquitoes. I would, let's I would get rid of taxes. Is taxes an inanimate object? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, actually, McNass, is you're man really might be an inanimate object? <laughs> I mean, taxes is just well, taxes is money, and you'd be taking away is money. Is so. British an inanimate object? Yes, it is actually. Ooh, yeah, actually, yeah, uh, like wasabi is another pretty gross thing. Dude, what? If I'm you not put getting rid wasabi, of wasabi, if you put wasabi. wasabi and mayonnaise and mix it up, it's pretty good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I hate both of those things. <laughs> Wasabi? Really? A white person not liking mayonnaise? Oh, I fucking hate mayonnaise. It's, really? It's, it's, Maybe it's, you it's, put on your sandwich. What do you put on a sandwich then? <laughs> Mustard. Spit. Spit. Ricky sauce. Dude, did you guys ever have like a weird thing as a kid where you'd like chew something up, spit it out, and eat it again? Because <laughs> I did. Gum. Absolutely <laughs> not. What? Are you feeding baby birds? Dude, I'm not the only one. All right, I've heard the, like from other people. Well, yeah, they, maybe the uh, special ed also, class. Yeah, do they also <laughs> wear helmets? So nah, dude. For some reason, whenever I would have like Chinese, like chicken and what? rice. Ew. I, I, dude, listen, I was a fucking stupid kid. Okay, I didn't know any better. Yeah. You still so, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck a nard bone. I would chew it up. I would like to a mushy <laughs> consistency. I would spit <laughs> it back out and then just like <laughs> uh, eat it from. Dude, I was See, a fucking were, kid. I didn't if you were cool, you would have like threw the mushy mixture at like a wall and just let it harden yeah, there or something. Hungry. But you just like ate it again. Ball of like yeah. beef we and broccoli. Nasty. I would. I don't uh, know why I'd do that. That is... Uh, that's some that's, brain that's dead weird. activity right there. That's really? Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> did you guys ever... Like, when, you, when you were little, go, did you ever ahead. like role play with food like when i was little broccoli i thought it was like a i used to pretend they were like trees and i was a dinosaur and they just like try to stand them up and i just like, oh and i'm the brain dead off the... okay no, you used to I... eat bird food like <laughs> regurgitated I... broccoli i just That's... used to like stand it up and pretend i was like a dinosaur and just like fucking shove my face into it and be like god i'm sick that's awesome that's probably you because know? of your dumb <laughs> heritage <laughs> yeah, all right. wow. uh, yeah, no, I used to snort lines of hummus as a kid. Yeah, but nasty. My dumb heritage really, really responsible for that. Have you ever had hummus what before? Like, dude, what are like some fucking dumb things y'all believed as kids? Did y'all like have any dumb uh, things you believed? I, I used to believe that if you couldn't see someone, they couldn't see you. So on <laughs> Christmas Eve, I used to like my parents would be sitting out, obviously later than like the kids would, because we'd all go to bed. And I'd like want to check if Santa came yet. 
So I'd cover my eyes and walk out to the living room and there's just like seven adults just sitting there staring at me. And they would all go with it. They would pretend they couldn't fucking see me. And I'd like move my hands for like a split second to see if there was presents under the tree. And then I'd cover them and run back to my room where me and like all my little friends would be. And then just be like, all right, they didn't see me, guys, but Santa didn't come yet. And I, I genuinely believe that they couldn't. Isn't that what dinosaurs also do? You were held in like some sexual hmm. shit with dinosaurs. Yeah. Dude, I, I actually <laughs> used to have so many little plastic dinosaurs. Maybe I... Is there a dinosaur fetish? Did I have that? I think you I did. Try, you pretended you were a dinosaur when you ate, and you thought if, like, people, like... I don't know. People could, couldn't see yeah, you. Yeah. If I... Yeah, no. If I couldn't see that. I don't know. Um, I, I really like dinosaurs. I was obsessed with, like... Yeah, I used to I don't like know, them like too. Jurassic Park movies mm-hmm. and stuff. There's something you want they to tell us? Sick. <clears throat> when I was like a dinosaurs kid... Dinosaurs are fucking dope. When I was a little yeah. baby, like, three, four years old, I would sit in front of my grandma's TV and watch Jurassic Park, like the first one, like Dude. nine times throughout the day. Like it would turn yes. off. And my grandma told me I would turn around and look at her and go, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. And she would like rewind it and play it again. I would literally just watch this shit all the time. Yeah, I used, to, I used to have a dinosaur obsession too. I used to have like a dinosaur like bed set bunch of dinosaur yes, toys dude you're sick yeah. god mcnasty is now the coolest one on the podcast <laughs> did y'all ever have like the glow in the dark uh stars and shit on your oh yeah yep. Yep. yeah yeah i remember I the peel them off and put them in weird spots i remember eventually i took them down or i had like a parent take them down and then uh, i still have them there was one <laughs> there was like one star that was still it's probably still on the roof of my dad's house just one star on the roof that like nobody ever removed that's cute yeah i uh I, I, when I used to go to my friend's house, like when we were kids, whenever we used to make craft dinner, I used to take one noodle out of the pot when he wasn't looking. And I'd run into his bedroom and I'd slap it onto the ceiling. <laughs> and he didn't notice for like months and months until there's a small collection of uncooked noodles stuck to his ceiling. And they are still there to this day. I'm surprised they what happened? Fold. Did you get in trouble? No, he just was like, the fuck, man. <laughs> I was like, you did oh, that to dude. your dad? No, no, I, I was at my friend's house. I did it, to, like, it wasn't even at my house. I did it at his house. It wasn't even my own house. I used to house. just fucking... House. 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 What's what? Own, my own house? His house. I was at his house. House. My house. <laughs> I'm done talking on this podcast. <laughs> we did he eventually to find out? And did you tell him it was you? Uh, well, he said he went to bed one night. And it was like a school night or whatever when we were little and he looked up and he could still see light through his fucking window coming in and he was just sitting in bed and just saw like a huge pile of noodles just slowly like accumulated to his ceiling. So I he would think I was going insane if I saw that. No, he, uh, <laughs> I, well, think he, I, would, I would think I was losing my mind if I just woke <laughs> up one day and there's freaking like like mac and cheese 20, stuck to my ceiling. Twenty noodles. There like, wasn't cheese on it yet. It was just the it was just the, the well, mac. Yeah, oh, just like a boiled just noodle. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a boiled noodle. Yeah, those things are sticky on too. It, it would like mold. Yeah, you could like stick them <laughs> to anything. So I used to just fucking run to his bedroom, slap them on the ceiling. Still there. And then uh, I did it to my own house once with a big uh, spaghetti noodle. And we had, we had people repaint the kitchen, and they didn't even take it off. They fucking painted <laughs> over the noodle. <laughs> my, dad, my dad went up to change a light bulb, and he fucking saw it, and he peeled it off, and now there's just this unpainted noodle strip on my kitchen roof. <laughs> I used to do that when I used to uh, when I used to work with my dad, because uh, my dad my dad's a maintenance guy for like apartments, and uh, he used to work for these apartments where the owner owned three different properties, and I would he would have me go to the other properties to like paint and stuff like the inside. So like when people move out, you have to do what's called like a turnover where you, you make a dirty apartment, like fresh and new for somebody to move in, which means you paint, yeah. you fix like things that are broken. Yeah. So my main duty was just painting because you, you, you had to have like zero IQ to paint. It's easy. Yeah. And, uh, these, uh, a couple of the properties were very, very ghetto. So a lot of like cockroaches, a lot of like dirty things. And there would just be like cockroaches smashed into the wall, and I would just paint over them. <laughs> just get, like little cockroach bumps God. all over the wall. It's <laughs> like Ew. painting over a used condom that's stuck to the wall. <laughs> I was just like, I'm not gonna sit there and scrape all the fuckers up because I was I was a lazy fucking worker back then. And yeah, I was just yeah, like, not much has changed. <laughs> not anything has changed. <laughs> yeah, but I would just literally just like cover cockroaches Get over a yeah. dead cockroach that's funny can you imagine being first day of moving into your new apartment being all stoked and then it's just like and hey, there's a cockroach painted on the wall <laughs> <laughs> or 
like watch yeah. it watch it slowly peel off the wall while you're yeah. eating dinner it's just like this oh. cockroach <laughs> fucking i nasty. used to literally go to that to that site and like i would i would stay up all night playing black ops one till like 6 30 in the morning yeah. and then i'd have to wake up at like seven and i get like 30 minutes of sleep go to work and my dad wouldn't go with me to that site it would be it was the other guy that worked there and he uh um, he, he would like never check up on me. He would never come in to like, see like, Hey, how you doing? So I would, I would literally, they, they had these, uh, built in ACs on the floor cause they didn't have like big AC units. So they, have you ever seen those before? You like put yeah. them in a window. Yeah. yeah. And they were like yeah. on floor level. So I would like crank it to 60, lay in front of it and nap for like four hours. <laughs> like in the middle, of, he would like, I would lock the door too. So he would have to like knock on the door to like come check up on me and I'd like wake up and I'd like grab the paint bro- or the paint roller and act like I'm doing something and hands the door would be like, like, hey. Bone dry full of crusty paint. Oh, he'd come in and the only like thing I'd have done is like cabinets painted <laughs> after like four hours of work. God. <laughs> he eventually told my dad, he was just like, yeah, your son has like terrible work ethic, so <laughs> we're just gonna have him not come here anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, was, <laughs> I was just, I was God, you're the worst then. painting over cockroaches taking naps. <laughs> I spilled paint it's all the time. I was, I, was, I was terrible. Even the most brain dead yeah. job, I was still just caught off a lot. Yeah, well, now you have an even more brain dead job that you're pretty <laughs> yeah, alright. For real, so yeah. That's something. <laughs> so you're moving that's up generous. in the world. Yeah. I've never taken a nap at a job. <laughs> Same. I I don't think I have. Oh no, that's a lie. I worked for this. Okay, I worked for this moving company. But I didn't do the truck stuff. I worked in like their warehouse where they kept like their millions of boxes and their moving blankets and shit. And I made this like cubby out of moving boxes and blankets. <laughs> <laughs> and I just fucking These blankets napped are in so there. Rough, like, no, dude, these ones were fucking uh, cozy. I know, like the U Haul ones like, are so rough. Oh, they were like brand new. Like I just took them all out of the bags and just laid them out and like piled boxes around me. So if you looked in the little room I was in, you couldn't even see me like napping. You could mm-hmm. just see a pile of boxes, so it looked normal. And I did nap in there once or twice, and that was about it. But <laughs> that job fucking sucked. All I did was pretend to sweep the whole time and just listen to music. Nice. It was fucking awful. You guys didn't give any answers to the topic, though. What was it? I'm what was curious. The, what the hell is the topic? I forgot. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> we veer off so much. It's dumb, just like <laughs> dumb things you believed in as a kid. Oh shit! We're still oh yeah, oh. yeah. Well, I'm the I, only one that gave an answer, right? I did believe I thought, that a sex was when the shower would just run on your pee pee. I thought my cousin wait, told me. Wait, 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 wait. Say that sentence again. Start over. Start over. Start over. <laughs> my cousin, my cousin told me that when the wa- like sex was when the water from the shower head just like runs on your on your wiener. And I just I thought that's you what never take a shower as a kid. <laughs> and then no, I just like I would literally go to school and tell my friends that I've been getting laid like left and right, and it was literally just like <laughs> I had sex oh, this morning been doing before that this school. Time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I You're had like sex elementary this morning school. at my uncle's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I was like six. I was young. I was so like naive as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I bet those other kids were going home and telling their parents like. Hey, Eric said he had sex this morning yeah. before school, and they were like so concerned. <laughs> <Just> like, <"Yeah." laughs> Eric, Eric's dad's house is awesome. He always has sex there. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yikes! Uh, that man. is uh, that is that is probably like equally brain dead to soup eating his own leftovers. <laughs> I can't I thought- believe you would spit your food out and eat it again. Dude, I I didn't I know any better. Honestly, for some reason, that. for some reason, I I think that I thought that is what you had to do with Chinese food to eat it, like <laughs> specifically Chinese. Yeah, food. like specifically Chinese food, you would have to like chew it up a little bit, spit it out, then eat it. I don't so know why somebody, I thought that. So if somebody gave you like, it. so if somebody gave you like steak and broccoli, you would eat it normally. But if it was beef and broccoli in a Chinese food setting, you'd be like, no, I gotta spit it out on the table. It's, it's the it. rice. Correct. You gotta mush up the rice. <laughs> Correct. God, that is, God. that is something. I thought Dude, that you got sex was uh, just oh. anal when I was a kid. It's not. You thought so? I was. Uh, I mean, it kind of is. Well, I mean, like I mean, that's like a regular form of sex, but that's like not, regular yeah. sex. I mm. thought it was. Did anal. you yeah. walk in on your parents doing something weird, or what? What? What triggered that thought? I 
don't know. I just, just always kids thought, thinking <laughs> things, yeah. Well, you probably just looked at your own ass and were like, well, that's the only hole, so surely that right? Like, that's where it goes. <laughs> I don't, I thought that, I think that it was, uh, one of my friends told me that women pee out of their butt, and I was like, well, if women only have a butthole, then it huh. must be where the man puts his peener, so. Were you guys ever, mm-hmm. like, when you were a kid, were you ever disgusted by vaginas? <laughs> No. <laughs> like I remember. What? You trying to tell us something, bro? Well, I remember. is gay. <laughs> well, I just remember like going. Have you just been repulsed and never wanted to be around one ever. <laughs> like the first time you get a hold of like something sexual as a kid, it's like the first thing you're super into is boobs. Like boobs are just like, oh fuck yeah! Like you beat off to boobs. Boobs are amazing. But I just remember like seeing a vagina for the first time and just being like, ew, a vagina. Like that's gross. And then he saw a dick and was like, I'm ready. I'm fucking, I'm ready. I mean, yeah. I guess to be fair, genitalia in general looks like alien body parts. It no, looks, but, you know, uh, but. Okay. I, I do actually somewhat understand what McNasty's saying. Cause like yeah. just a vagina in a non-sexual setting, just like randomly looking at it is like, okay. Arby's beef sandwich. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but it, it depends, looks like but, an Arby's beef, beef sandwich. But like once you sink your fucking shaft in. All right, calm <laughs> the <you're> like, fuck <laughs> down. <laughs> Okay. Okay, right, this is getting a little then weird. you're like, I don't give a shit if it looks like a fucking turd. It feels that good. Fuck. You're like the creepiest sex ed like teacher ever. ever. <laughs> Once you sink your shaft. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, I, uh, I mean, it's nothing really good, like, that's been said is really wrong. Accent. But, you know, oh, just, man. just yeah. kind of odd. Can I used to think. Uh, when you, I was wait, wait, a kid, dude, dude, dude. Can you do a Metal Gear, Gear Solid line in that voice that you just did? Uh, oh, you're making my Metal Gear really solid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank <bad>. you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you're welcome. I used to think that sex was you'd put your pee pee in the in the JJ and it just like uh, it like tur- <laughs> what. I like that when we're talking about these stories, we still use terms we would yeah. when we uh-huh. were office. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's funnier that way. Pee-pee in the, the immersion. Shower, you said yeah. there. I used to think that it like turned on like a massager and you just sat there and it just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does. If you pay that was for my it. first impression. <laughs> that is very odd. Uh, That's what somewhat- I thought. Somewhat on this topic, do you guys remember the first time you got a boner? Because I definitely no. do. So <clears throat> this, I, I was sitting there, I was watching Titanic with my parents, and <laughs> it was a scene where he's drawing her, and like her, you can see her tits, uh-huh. and I was laying on my stomach on the floor watching, and I just remember panicking, and I was like, "The fuck's happening down there?" And I like almost told my parents because I was so scared that something was happening and it wasn't supposed to. So I was like, no, I'm just going to play this cool for like 10 minutes and see what happens. And I went away and I was like, all right, I'm safe. But I had no clue what the fuck just happened to me. It just I was looking at this girl's boob and then something was going on down there and it hurt because I was like just jamming it in the fucking floor. Like I didn't know what was going on. And I like I was literally like seconds away from telling my parents. Looking back now, that probably would have been such an embarrassing story of being like, yeah, mom, dad, what's happening with this thing right now? Like what's going on down here? That's funny. I used yeah, to steal funny. the uh like like a newspaper. Like the what are the fucking newspapers where it's like the colored newspapers? <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm trying to say. It it would be like a coupon book kind of thing that would come Uh, in newspapers, but it wouldn't be black and white. It would be colored. I don't know, uh, but I would like steal the fucking lingerie section out of of newspapers Uh. as a kid and like hide them in my room. (laughs) You're probably always so confused to wear those. Well, I would always wait until it was an old newspaper so they wouldn't. Okay, you're smart. Yeah. Didn't just grab it fresh out of the mailbox and take the lingerie. Nope. I remember I did find it. I found a, like a, uh, it wasn't Playboy. Oh, it was a Hustler magazine in like the trash of one of my friend's like, trash. I guess it was his dad's and he threw it away. Man, I used to fucking spanky winky do that all the time. Dude, I used to always walk down the magazine aisle at stores as a kid just oh, yeah. so I could look at Sports oh. Illustrated. 
Oh, <laughs> he's saying. I think every dude has yeah. done that. Yeah, hundred yep. percent. My friend's stepdad had one. We all used to like go look at it like it was the fucking holy grail. There'd be like twenty <laughs> of us gathered around it at his birthday party, just looking at a girl in a bikini. Like, what the fuck, that dude? Fucking dudes growing up now ain't gonna have that experience. Like, yeah, you know yeah I mean? they're just gonna fucking watch porn. I feel like we're probably the last generation to to like look at magazines and shit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, definitely. Did you ever go are... into like a liquor store and see like a little section of like the actual like sex magazines, like pornos and stuff they'll have? No, no, nah, I, I never have. went to. It, it wouldn't be sitting out in the open, but it'd be sitting like right in like the walkway of the cash area, and you can see you just you just like look and you can see like a girl like fucking a dude, and you're just like, oh my god, McDonald's you're like just walking around you're like a nine, sticky. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, for uh, me, it used to be like, you know, those calendar kiosks in the mall mm-hmm. where like people oh, be selling calendars. Yes. They'd have like the sports illustrated models yeah. on one. I'd flip dude, that shit over so Fireman fast. One. Yeah, dude, the hot like <laughs> cops and stuff. <laughs> oh. The firefighters. The Obama Fireman calendar. Oh. God. But yeah, no, uh. those sports illustrated calendars were A1 just, just, as a child. Just better days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, did I ever yeah. tell you all the story about my friend's Nintendo DS? Nope. No. Oh my God. So one night, me and my mom were staying over at uh, my friend's house because she was friends with uh, that dude's mom or whatever. But uh, he was at like practice for something, maybe like football practice or something like that. And we got there before he got like home or whatever. So I was in his room alone because like both like my mom and his mom were just like talking and oh, hanging boy. out. And they were just like, yeah, you can go in his room and like play his games and or watch TV or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. I'll, so I'll just go in my buddy's room. So I was just like chilling in there. Didn't really know what to do because it's, it's so awkward when you're in someone else's room. Like even if you yeah. are good friends with someone, it's like I don't want to like. Yeah, it's just weird being in Yeah, like room. I don't want to fuck with their shit too much because, you know, I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. Yeah. But his his Nintendo DS was like sitting on, on top of his uh, dresser or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just. Play me like a game on the DS or something. So, uh, dude, fucking open this DS and it's just Pornhub on the DS. And I'm just like, really, <laughs> man? What? Like, why on the DS? <laughs> oh, no. What? That's yeah, on the DS. I didn't know you could even do that. I didn't. Dude, not me did either. I. Me either. I was like, I that opened was a it. Visionary. <laughs> Dude, I was so scared. I thought my mom was gonna be behind me and see that, and I thought I was gonna be in so much trouble. But yeah, I just open up the Nintendo DS and it's just fucking Pornhub. I could not believe it. Uh, that was something somewhat similar happened. Um, I was helping a friend move and he's two years older than me. And my mom was really good friends with his mom. So like, I it, it was a similar situation where I got there before he was home and my mom's just like, oh yeah, like most of his stuff is, you know, in boxes except for his drawers and stuff. But you can start packing that up for him if you want. So I was like, okay, cool. And like my mom and his mom were like grabbing his clothes and like putting those in boxes. And I opened his drawer and the first thing I saw was a condom and it was out of the package. And it wasn't used or anything, but he definitely was just like, like 15 or 16 and just like found a condom and was like, fuck yeah, dude, that's sick. And I had no <laughs> idea what it was. So I just like pulled it out and like held it up in the air. I was like, what is this? <laughs> and his mom was just like, Oh my god, like ran over, like snatched out of my hand. You got him was, in like, trouble. Fuming. <laughs> literally like fuming fucking red. And he got home and she just lost it on him for like 20 minutes. And I felt so fucking bad. I was just sitting in his room on his bed. His mom is just freaking out on him. I how was old are you? Like, fuck. Or how I was probably he? like 13. He uh, was probably like 15 or 16. Uh, so I didn't know what the fuck it was. And he like He's at the age where, like, I mean, I guess it's different yeah. days now, but, at, you know, back then when you're, like, 15 to 16, you start to find out, like, what condoms are and shit. So he probably, like, just found his first condom was, like, I'm gonna open it up, see what the fuck's going on in here. And I had no clue. So I just pulled it out and just, like, dangled it up in the air like a fucking snake skin I found or something like that. I hate that, like, <laughs> just, when parents are, that. like, when parents find out that, like, a, like their high school daughter, like, son is like having sex it's like why get mad at yeah, that yeah he was in high school so like yeah, it's not like he was now, fucking was like, 11 or bad. something yeah yeah no yeah exactly and like when my mom talked to me about it because i asked her like because well, i didn't want him to get the, pregnant like yeah well, it's a I, guy. Didn't, I, I didn't know what the fuck <laughs> with was happening well that's what my that's Still, actually uh, like where i was going with this like 
my mom explained to me later what it was after because I didn't know why the fuck he was getting screamed out. Like, I didn't know if I just found, like, fucking meth in this guy's drawer. Drugs, yeah. um, and my mom's <laughs> just, like, it kind of explained, like, what it was. And she's just like, you know what? I'm actually happy that he's, like, being responsible if he is, like, sexually active. Yeah. She's like, you That's know, true, if, yeah. If that, if you ever are in that position, you know. Yeah, my mom, my mom bought like, me condoms in high school. Oh, really? Yeah, because she, Christ. like, she wanted to, she so was, awkward. she was progressive about, like, making sure that if I was having that's sex. That's good, though. Yeah, because that's so much safer than your kid just, like, like yeah, people like, that are like, no, you can't have sex till you're fucking married. Like, parents yeah. with that ideal. Like, mm-hmm. their kid's going to go out and bang somebody and get, like, dog aids now when somebody pregnant. Because they just have they no just idea how to be, like, properly. safe with shit. Yeah. yeah. You guys actually, uh, other than McNasty, I guess, do you guys remember the first time you bought condoms? Other than do, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <do you> <laughs> uh, it was 2031. <laughs> Was the first time I bought a condom. <laughs> I was forty-two. And <laughs> <laughs> Soup, do you remember? Yeah, I was in a Walmart and I felt like a badass. <laughs> I felt the, you just walk the up with magnums, <laughs> even though you have like a four-inch dick. Just <laughs> just walk, up, walk up with like the fucking biggest size. Just possible. this black mambo on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> like a picture of like a cobra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to uh, I rode my bike to the furthest gas station away from my house that I that I knew of that would have them and I got there and I was like super nervous I was literally like shaking I was so fucking scared why and I don't know dude I was just like I don't know in my yeah. head I was like people cannot know that I have sex or that I'm buying condoms like for when I do like people cannot fucking know so I was so nervous and I went to the gas station and like the the first dude that I bought them from was like this huge fucking like six foot five jacked black dude. And I just had to ask him for the condoms behind the counter. It's just like, man, this can't get any worse. This has got to be the worst first experience. And he probably just this. made some snide comment like, yeah. Or no, he didn't even. <laughs> no, he didn't. My them. man. No, which made it so much worse because he just grabbed them, put them on the thing in front of me and just like said like whatever, four ninety nine. It's just like fuck. This is this is so fucking. What is he awful. supposed to do? Like, <laughs> no, like, you're gonna like, fuck some little you know, pussy was, with that or what? White bitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I probably would have sued him if that was the case. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just just overly like, aggressive and yeah. sexual about everything. Are you gonna videotape it? I wanna see it afterwards. It starts like okay. air humping. No, I'm just me. <laughs> Puts I, on like I Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> <the> radio. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was on the other end of that because I worked at Walgreens and we, we I sold condoms and stuff. Wait, well, you worked at Walgreens? <laughs> yeah, I worked at Walgreens uh, for like like a few months. Oh, it was the worst job. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was working the, the front counter and some dude came sprinting up to my line out of breath. <laughs> like, <laughs> and he slams... <laughs> Slams some condoms down. He's like, how much? And I just scanned him. I handed him back. He's like, hurry up. Was he being chased by the sex police? Five ninety nine. And and, and this dude sprinted out of the door. Like actual, like full on sprint. Like he was about to, like he was having sex in his car in the parking lot or something. (laughs) No, he definitely roofied a girl in the skirt. She was going to wake up. (laughs) We're on time limit here, boys. (laughs) She's going to wake up, bro. Hurry. It was the first time I ever sold a condom, a pack of condoms to people. I was like, is this what it's like? He's like, <laughs> he's like holding in a cum sad. shot, trying to go buy condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I gotta come, man. I gotta come. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. Did Did you ever have any, like, kids like me going in where they're just, like, obviously their first time and super awkward and nervous? Or was it always just people like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck a bitch. Here's condoms. It was, no, it was, it was normally just, like, a part of a bunch of other stuff. They bought like drinks and like a bunch of other stuff and like I just scanned it. It was like nothing. Like no, there was no comment. Yeah. But what was the probably the most awkward thing is when like women would come in to buy stuff for them because they made it really awkward. They're like, Oh really? <laughs> My pussy stank. I'm getting some bad seal. <laughs> okay, yeah. Basically. I got a pussy for the com. Here's a douche. <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's odd. The f- I remember the first time I decided not to go to a um, regular like weird gas station to buy overpriced ass condoms. I went to a Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know if you guys have those uh, Shoppers Canadian, Drug Mart. Yes, um, but I went to it's buy a, a, a third thing. 
I went to buy a 30 pack of condoms and I Damn. got them because you could do they were like 16 bucks for 30. Whereas if I went to the gas station, it's oh, yeah. for like six dollars. Yeah, so I was like laying some pipe. Yeah. So I was like, what am I doing here? So I went and bought a box of fucking 30 and on my way out, I was like, oh, sick pretzels. There's like these buffalo flavored pretzels. So I just had condoms and pretzels and I get to the ch- checkout thing. And I'm just like, she's just scanning my items. And I turned to my left and it was one of my fucking high school teachers. And I was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> like, what a what a variety of items to have while talking to an old teacher. Just I would have like, been like, like pull like, one out of the box and be like, you want to go in the back here? What's going on? No, no, she was uh, she was not not something I'd want to put my wiener in. Uh, I have some um, like uh, sus drug stories. Like when I first bought like weed. <laughs> okay, Do you guys have on. any funny like buying drug stories? Uh, no, I've never actually bought weed. Like any time I've ever been high, somebody else has mm-hmm, given it to me, or just like I've just randomly had it. Dude, uh, it never is done so fucking <laughs> awkward and weird, man. So really? there was this guy that I would go to like pretty regularly when I was like fucking sixteen, seventeen, and buy like just a gram of weed at a time, and he would always like be somewhere different. <laughs> across like town and it was so weird like these houses <laughs> yeah are the houses that i would go to and uh <laughs> let's just call this man jamal for uh for <laughs> all right that kind of gives a mental thing yeah. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's, just, let's just call I this guy jamal <laughs> <laughs> let's just say this guy likes to wear do rags pretty often <laughs> i had so many sketchy fucking things happen with jamal bro it was it would be so weird because like i would be the, like the one friend out of my friends that like and it i was never I, like i never seemed like i would be that person where people would be like yo dude you know where i can get some weed but i slowly turned into that guy and like i i hated everything about it because all my friends would just be like yo dude can you text jamal and ask him for some weed i'm just like no i don't this is like i hate going to him it's so awkward dude <laughs> so he How had old this Jamal, first of all. He he was probably like twenty-five, bro. Like <laughs> oh my god, he's like nine years old. Oh yeah, he, he's a good bit older than me at the time. And dude, <laughs> I have a lot of stories. So he had this house like in this neighborhood back in the woods. It was like a twenty minute ride. God. A twenty minute ride from where I lived. And uh, it was actually, it wasn't his house. He was, like, never at his house. He was always at, like, someone else's house that was owned Trap by someone houses. else. Yeah. And so I would go to this house, and I walk in, and, well, uh, I had, you know, I pulled up, and I texted him. I was like, yo, I'm here. I'm outside. He was like, all right, go ahead and come in, the, like, the side door. And so it's, the house is so fucking dark, but I can tell that there's, like, people sitting around in, like, the living room area. And he holds the door open for me. And so I just walk in the door, and the door is still open. And then out of nowhere, this lady comes like running down the stairs, and she's just like, Why the fuck did you leave the door open? Were you raised in a fucking barn? What the fuck? Yeah, but he had opened the door for me, and I was like, I am so sorry. I am so fucking... Dude, if I could explain to you how scared I fucking was, dude. (laughs) I was so scared. And, And then Jamal was just like, it was me that left the door open. <laughs> and then she was just like, oh my god, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. What the fuck? Dude, I was like... <sighs> it's, like it's okay. Drenched in sweat. Dude, I, I thought I was dead, man. I, I, like, I thought I was going to fucking die or something or get my ass beat. I was so scared. <laughs> And then like one his time, mom or like a girl, like a I don't know who it was, dude. I don't know who the fuck. Well, it was. it's just like a random drug house. There's probably like <coughs> sixty different deals. Yeah, there. I don't, yeah, I don't know who it was. And one time, I showed up to that house by mm-hmm. myself. Like, at least I had a friend in the truck with me at that time. I showed up by my by myself one time to that house, and I go in, and he has like this big fucking uh, what are those like uh, drawstring bags? Drawstring and bags? it's like, huh? No. Just like one of those ones you like put on your back and they just like oh, yeah like oh, a backpack oh. like a small oh, little backpack you, yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh, cinch bag. And it was it was full of weed. It was just a drawstring bag. Yeah, like the Nike like, like, a backpack. like a fitness bag kind of. Yeah, yeah. Gym yeah. bag, like bag kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just full of fucking weed. 
And I'm just there to buy a gram. And if you don't know anything about like weed, it's the, like that's a very very small yeah. little nice yeah. nug. Yeah, that's a very small amount of weed. And he just pulls his fucking brick of weed out of this gym bag, like a fucking huge amount, and like sticks a knife in it and like cuts it open. <laughs> then he like grabs God. it and smells it. And he's just like, "This ain't my motherfucking weed." This ain't my motherfucking weed! And there's like two other dudes and they like stand up and I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? You and he just like walks out. <laughs> <laughs> he just like walks out or and I think he called somebody. I'm just standing there, dude. Like, don't know what just to do. Tweaking. <laughs> I know, right? So I'm just standing there and he just comes back in and he's just like, whatever. You want a gram still? I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Please, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> like a very well mannered white kid. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yes, sir. Blake, thank you, sir. <laughs> you, like, you like curtsy on your way out. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, this one time in particular, he was always somewhere different, except for those two times he was at that same house. This one time, he's like, uh, "Come to this address," and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I was with one of my friends that was driving. And I was like, what the hell, dude? I've never been in this address before. I shit you not. Rule it. We roll up. These two fucking white ass honky motherfuckers roll up in a Jeep <laughs> to a family barbecue. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not joking, dude. There were like, it was a big ass family. There were probably like 20 people, dude. It was a big family barbecue. Like a That's fucking sick. get together. Yeah. Yeah. And we roll up, and every eye is on us. Just like (laughs) everyone is staring. And it's so... uh, It's like everyone knows. It's like, why the fuck else would two white kids be rolling up to like this family barbecue right now? You know? And anyway, I I get out, (laughs) and I walk over to Jamal, and he's just like, hey, bro, follow me down the road a little ways. I was like, okay. Okay, so I, I get in and tell my friend, I'm like, yo, he, he said he wants us to follow him down the road. I don't know why. But he gets in a car with like five or six other guys. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And we drive down the road maybe like two or three minutes to like a vacant parking lot oh beside my God. like the highway. God, it just dude. looks like the most drug dealer spot you could think of in yeah. your mind. Like. The very obvious what's going on. Like there's there would be nothing else happening in this parking lot. And so I I get out again and walk up to this fucking tinted car with like six fucking dudes in it. And I just like hand him ten bucks. He hands me the weed and I get back in and I'm just like, bro, let's leave now. <laughs> this is so this is so sketchy. But anyway, their car pulls out ahead of us and they like make a left turn or whatever. And then I shit you not, a cop drives by. And I'm like freaking the fuck out. I'm like, dude, floor it. Let's get out of here. So we turn down the road the opposite way of the cop and leave. It was, dude, so sketch, man. Rolling up to a family barbecue, like of the all f- black people. The only two white dudes, it's just so obvious. You're there there. to buy drugs. Like, yeah, man. like why the fuck else yeah. are you here? You know, the, like, the fact that you're even alive today after all that. <laughs> yeah, it was always something, dude. It was you always some shit. Be here right now. <laughs> I was hoping that at the end of that story, you were gonna end up with like some brisket and like, some greens. Yeah, just like, yeah, that's what I was <laughs> yeah, you left with just, like, like some colors, some greens, like, tongue like, tongue like, nah, dude, like, like. <laughs> The the looks that they were giving, they were not like happy looks. Yeah. It wasn't like, yeah, come get some chips. It was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, <laughs> come get some chitlin sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that is a uh, is a good story. Oh, thank you for sharing that. that was, thank you. That, that was, was nice. Wild. <laughs> really had me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I've always had people in my family to like get weed for me so i like never i never really been in, like had to go buy Privilege. weed from somebody oh, yeah, so weird, like, smoked weed that smokes wait what <laughs> no you're the mo- oh, you're dude. like like if, if straight edge had a picture in the dictionary you it'd be you it'd be your little logo <laughs> yes sir it, actually it would just be like a picture of your very white forearm <laughs> <laughs> stop talking about my forearm big nasty <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty nice forearm. I'll jack you off with my arm if you want. Yes, please. 100% yes. I mean, wait, dude, is it is it legal where you live? To jack a guy I off with have. your forearm? I think it is. <laughs> no. Yeah, not- that's legal everywhere <laughs> here now. Obama made that happen. Yeah, I think he married uh, doing you, that now. Would you ask? Uh, is weed legal where you're at? No. 
Oh, okay. Well, that probably pays. Well, actually, no, I don't know that. Time. Don't quote me on that. I actually don't really know drug laws. <laughs> Why I don't would know you? if it's legal Fair here. Enough. So, like, have you just never felt like you've ever wanted to try it, or has it just been like you've never had the opportunity kind of thing? I've had the opportunity. I've just refused. I'm just not into it. I like That's fair. I, not to sound as lame as hell, but I like being in control of myself and not no. being in an altered state ever. Dude, That's to just be me. honest, though... Like I, used, I used to smoke when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good influence, McNasty. You're gonna get blitzed like whenever we meet. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay. I'll drink with y'all, but I'm not gonna do drugs. We'll That's see. It. We're doing yeah. meth. We're gonna knock meth your ass and out. McNasty's Me and McNasty's house are gonna hold down. you down. Yeah. I'm gonna come back home like stumbling drunk with no, bloodshot gonna, gonna eyes you, and like. We're gonna give you a horse tranquilizer and one arm and heroin in the <laughs> and other. And a bookmark and a chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna leave you outside for like an hour and let you breathe in all the smoke. Dude, let's get let's get do so fucked up and get like <laughs> and get someone to like Comic Sans font tattoo gay on his forearm. So <laughs> all of his videos, <laughs> like the inside of his <laughs> left forearm, that you can I see. Say, yeah. <laughs> I say we get him as fucked up as possible and then try to make him play Ascend. <laughs> just see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Writes a new song. Writes a new Pink Floyd record. <laughs> Damn, I, I do drugs all the time, if that's the case. I mean, a lot of good music was made out of doing drugs, so... Yeah, yeah. not 100%. <laughs> but, so... But, to be, going back on what Dew said, though, I, I do understand... I feel like when I was a teenager, like, getting high and drunk and shit was a lot more fun than it is as, like, an adult. Because uh, now there's, yeah, like, definitely. repercussions. Now you get, like, hangovers and stuff. And, like, the last time I got fucking way too high, like... You know, when you're, like, 15, something that's really fucking annoying as an adult is just funny back then. So, like, when I got way too fucking high in Boston... And I poured my entire water bottle out in my bed while I was talking to John because I was holding it upside down with no cap because I was so fucking high and it was going on. I was like, this is fucking AIDS. But when I was like 16, I would have been like, ha, hey, that's the funniest thing that's ever happened yeah. to anybody. But I was like, now I'm cold and wet and this sucks and I wish I was sober. <laughs> like, it's just not the same when you're an adult. Yeah, whenever I, I get, when I used to be younger and I would get high, I would have like the best time ever. I would just like, yeah, same. it'd almost like, be like I was I'll drunk when I was watch young. TV or something. Yeah, but now I get high and it's like, after about an hour, I'm just like, I want to go to bed. Even if I've only been up for like four hours, I just it just makes me tired. I get yeah. like, it's weird because like a lot of people smoke weed to relieve anxiety. It gives me nothing but anxiety. Yeah, same. same. It's not it's not the same as it was for me. Yeah. It used to be hella fun to like just like smoke with your friends and cut up and shit, but I don't like it anymore. I just yeah, like drinking. Definitely. I don't know. It's yeah. not really for me. It never really has been. I've always just kind of did it because other people did it. And, like, it always made yeah, me, me feel too. fucking odd. I don't know if I talked about this story in the podcast, but I sat in a fucking porta potty for over an hour without realizing it. Because, like, <laughs> I felt like I had to pee. I was really fucking high. I felt like I had to pee. But Do I just you couldn't normally pee, sit so down just... when you pee? No, I was just sitting there standing up with my cock out oh, for, like, an hour. I figured you were, like, <laughs> sitting there, like, like, sitting. No, I literally was standing still. I can't for an have to hour. tinkle. I can't I, tinkle. In, in my head, it was, like, maybe five minutes. So I was like, no, no big deal. Yeah. Right? Nobody's going to question it. But it was like an entire hour that I was just standing there with my cock out in a porta potty. You probably smelled like oh shit God. when you came out too. <laughs> oh True. yeah, my clothes were oh. probably just like covered in fucking shit particles. I don't understand how people can go in a porta potty and shit and just like feel normal. I have all oh, when it splashes in a up. Uh, oh. And you, you get like, like eighteen different like, strands of AIDS <laughs> in, in an instant. You like look down in the toilet, you could see this bunch of like plobs of shit and just oh yeah. it's all like, shiny because it's all wet it was dude it was always at like concerts where the water just wasn't deep enough and you could just see a fucking gently placed turd on top of another yeah. turd uh, dude i saw like, uh, you ever you ever see those nice ones with the sink in it <laughs> yeah no. dude i bad. saw someone fucking shit in the sink dude Ew. like just straight what? up turd in the sink ah uh. No. Well, the porta potties have the thing that you piss in. It's like a little yeah, urinal yeah, to the left. Or maybe yeah, it was like that. Those. Maybe I thought it I was. Like those, yeah. he, I like the. He what thought kind it was of a luxury thing? porta potty. It was a good thing I didn't have. wash my I hope, hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the porta potties, potties I uh, that are in Missouri have like holes in them. People can like see your naked ass pissing <laughs> in them, and like <laughs> I don't know what kind of luxury porta potties you guys have. It's I think, like I think Missouri's just a bidet. <laughs> it's a bidet. There's a fucking bed yeah. in there. A butler. There's a butler to wipe your your butt for you. <laughs> it's PC I don't gaming think setup. I want that. Man, th just talking about porter potties is making me want to travel. 
I don't know it what it is. It makes me miss concerts. Yeah, like yeah. It, may, it makes me miss going places. Yeah. Like even though you have like, to shit uncomfortably and piss, it's worth. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just the, uh, part of the experience. Yeah, like because it bring back it brings back the memories of like the other yeah. parts of trips rather than just the porta potty. Yeah. Will there ever be a solution to uncomfortable public shitting and pissing? No. Uh, probably not, unless somebody uh, invents like a diaper that just eats your shit. Just gets rid of it. it eats your <laughs> shit. Like it, it just disappears. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Or like, have you ever seen the Family Guy episode where they go to the future and their their shits just oh, get yeah. vacuumed out of their uh-huh. ass, like Ooh. something like that? That'd be dope. That'd be yeah, really dope. Awesome. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Hook up to the fucking bathroom vacuum. Yeah, exactly. Just shit down a fucking mail tube, essentially. <laughs> God, that'd be a good way to quit your fucking job at like the post office. Like those suction mail tubes just fire up a turd. Just send a send a log in it. <laughs> <laughs> not even, no not even in a tube just either. Just it just sucks. So when it finally hits the end, it just explodes. <laughs> Somebody sitting there waiting to just splash all over their face. <laughs> That's I mean, fucking disgusting. Chilly the night before, so it's like that yeah. right consistency to uh-huh. explode on impact. Uh, <laughs> just, just send up a little note after that says "I quit," just like right behind. That's your oh fault. My God, <laughs> <laughs> that tube, like that opening, would be so just mutilated with shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna like turn the suction on and just start pissing into it. <laughs> Dude, I wonder how they clean that out. Would they just like <laughs> suck water up and then soap or something like soap and water? Guess, I, don't know. I think they would just get rid of that tube. Like, yeah, because the whole forever. inside would just be skid marked. <laughs> <laughs> what a thought, dude! Oh my god! That you can tell how immature we are when that's like the awful. hardest we've laughed in a while. <laughs> <laughs> over the thought of exploding Dude, shit through a USPS tube. If, if you don't think that's funny, lighten the hell up. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny as shit. You're wrong if you don't think that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a libtard. Oh. All right, relax. Uh, I don't think anybody would was... watch us and not have that kind of humor, so. Kind of right. Out. Yeah, if you're, if you're here, you already have that humor yeah. for sure. I don't know. I have some pretty AIDS fans. Yeah. I have a very right. vast... I'm not surprised. I, well, no, I have a very vast audience and like hardcore ass motherfuckers and like people will comment on my shit and just be like you're so fucking cringe you're cringe bro you <laughs> laughing at a fart noise you fucking oh cringe. yeah you're fucking cringe bro uh, th- there's, farts aren't there's funny a, what are you two you're fucking cringe there's a few 65 year old men that watch me too are like wow th- you guys are so immature <laughs> Damn, he's cute. so funny <laughs> and that <laughs> <laughs> i love you his little tiny body <laughs> i love that he's legal but he also looks 12 Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, oh, that, you know what's god. crazy? This is still the topic of something we believed in when we were younger. <laughs> that was a good ass topic. You're welcome. Dude, yeah. we did like two topics. That's the whole podcast. That's a good podcast. <laughs> well, yeah. dude, it's good when we branch off and talk about random shit. That's what we're talking like. about. I like how that topic somehow led to shit going through a mail. Just call tube. It, just call the podcast shit tube. <laughs> <laughs> just upload shit tube.mp4. It kind of uh, transitions into the next topic though. If you could get rid of one normal bodily function, what would it be? Probably shit. Yeah. Really? Shitting? Like, if yeah. you could get rid of any bodily function. Because, mm. like, the thing about shitting is, like, for me, for my, like, for me, it's like... Uh, <laughs> yes. Say, how many times are you going to restart that? Uh, I was going to say, like, in my situation, if I Rebooting. eat, if I eat bad food, I pretty much expect that I'm going to have a terrible shitting session later. So but you like, always say you're like, bro, shit. Well, yeah, yeah because one, one time and I'm done. One time yeah. and I'm like, I'm like the Jesus of pooping. I'm yeah. perfect. Well, if you I always eat, say that. If I eat like a lot of pizza or something like really bad, it'll, I'll have like sloppy shit. But most of the time I have pretty good shits. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that information with us. <clears throat> Plus you save money on toilet paper. <laughs> Y'all ever ran out of toilet paper at a friend's house? Uh, no. Uh, nope. Yeah, that's I when have. you grab the dog. What? Yeah, wait, what, what did you do in that situation? <laughs> that's when you use hey, the dude, shower Hey, can I use curtain. your shower? Yeah, oh, okay, curtain, uh, okay. 
No, I just I uh, sent my friend a picture of the toilet roll, and I was just like, help a brother out. <laughs> <laughs> still awkward as fuck this, though he just comes in and gives you his t-shirt he just like opened the door and, and like threw the toilet paper from around the door at me and I just waddled I... my fucking dookie filled <laughs> asshole and picked it up uh, <laughs> it's not happened to me and I'm, I'm, I'm glad cause that doesn't sound like a good time <laughs> uh, alright uh, I, 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 wiping I don't know, is such a beta male activity Okay, uh, maybe I I think I know why he's a virgin. Um, but Is that I don't the know. Do? I don't know what bodily function I'd get rid of. Like honestly, I'd probably say eating. Like I like eating, but it'd be nice to have that as an optional thing. You know, like if I just don't eat for three days. Oh, like or, no, actually no, I lied. Sleeping definitely would avoid sleeping. That yeah, that's a fucking. So really, a bodily your life function. Spend sleeping. Yeah, I, sleeping is like a normal. Like something, I guess it's more. Yeah, so you spend keep... like one third of your life sleeping, don't you, or something? Yeah. Or like half yep. of your life. It's like half for me. No, it's not. It's... If you're McNasty, okay. yeah, it's literally <laughs> yeah. half. Yeah. God, that's yeah. I, I wonder about. how much of your life you spend shitting. Probably um, not that well, much. Well, if you're McNasty, life. about yes. one one million. <laughs> How, how much of your life do you spend on the toilet? Is the second most looked up thing after sleeping. Just so you guys know. <laughs> <really>. <laughs> I bet you all the people that Googled that were on the toilet. So 100%. you spend you spend 92 days of your life on the toilet hey, on nothing. average. For me, it's probably so like 30 days. 2,208 <laughs> yeah, hours. 2,208 hours of your life. Oh, on that's toilet. not that bad. I have more hours yeah. on Counter-Strike. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> <laughs> when you put that into perspective, that's really not that bad. <laughs> Did you guys hear that Fortnite has been like the... Playtime on Fortnite is more than human existence. Really? That's yeah. Fucking That's nuts. Insane. Like the overall playtime. That's uh. Jesus. That's that's sick. That's pretty significant. I can't yeah. believe that game is still like relevant. I know. Very I know much though. So. <laughs> I can't. I just can't play. Did you? Were you guys ever into it? I know. Do played it a little. Yeah, bit. I was into it. I a tried. Bit. I tried really hard to like it. Streamed it some, but I couldn't outbuild the. These kids would build the twin towers in front of me in a second. I just couldn't. I know. couldn't handle it's it. Fucking a. I just. I every time I played it, I just in my head was like, I want to go play PUBG. Yeah, me too. I was into it for a while, but my my fans would would give me shit for it, so <laughs> yeah. I just kind of had to phase out really? doing it. Yeah, I had nobody the really liked me doing it. <clears throat> I had so many people that like. I uploaded one video of it. And I hated it. I like never wanted to upload it again. But I got so many requests. And, like, at the time, I was only getting, like, maybe 800 views on a normal video, and then I upload Fortnite and get, like, 4,000. Hmm. It's like, fuck. I remember I my first like Fortnite though. video was sponsored. They, like, Epic Games hit me and some friends up to do a sponsored video. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And, I like, I had said in the sponsored video, I was like, yeah, I think, personally, I think this is probably the best Battle Royale out right now. It's free to play, which was, like, weird at the time for a game to yeah. be, like, free to play. Mm -hmm. I was like, you literally don't lose anything by, like, and I, I wasn't I wasn't like reading in like an ad. I was just like it's free to play, so you'd like don't lose anything by trying it. And the graphics are like good, but not so good that you need a fucking supercomputer to run it. Yeah. So yeah. God, dude, I remember I uh, kept doing it. I, I remember Durgi. Durgi bought Fortnite before the battle royale came out, and he was like, yeah. "Yeah, this game sucks. Like Fortnite's never gonna fucking do anything." Yeah, <laughs> like save two the months world, later, man. biggest game in the fucking world. I was like, "Ah, oh, well, that that didn't age well." But yeah, the, the original Fortnite game was fucking dog shit. Yeah, the same. It, was, it was like uh, the kind of like was just a you shitty fight survival zombies. game. Yeah, or something. Yeah, you fight zombies and like build like it's it's honestly just like every other survival game. Like you just build. It's just like waves of things coming in. Yeah. Not really waves. Um, it was just like a consistent thing. Uh, and like when the storm came, there was like big waves of zombies, to my uh, knowledge. But I don't know. I just watched Dirgy play it one night and thought that looks fucking shit. And I think Epic realized that game was awful. And then they were just like, let's throw a battle royale in and see if we can like recoup any money. And then <laughs> it she... just happened to fucking yeah, it just happened to be the. I think they recouped their game. money. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would. I would confidently think they recoup their money. But I mean that's fucking that's a two hundred IQ business play on their end. That's like the smartest thing any devs have ever done. The thing that sucks about Fortnite is they just like they got to a point where they really just stopped 
like they all they wanted to cater to was like kids. They wanted to cater to try and make the absolute most money possible. They just well, like, yeah, because like that's that's a such an untapped market. Yeah. Like PUBG is not for fucking for ten kids, year olds, and yeah. that game was huge. And then they realized like kids are the only ones who have time to play games twenty four fucking seven. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense to cater to them because like I don't know, there's such a big untapped market. So they did the right thing, but yeah, no, it's definitely annoying as like. You know, somebody's in their twenties. It's just like God. I just and they I introduced like the I remember flossing and I remember they introduced the fucking guided missile, and that's like when I quit. I was like, that's just like the most fucking like you don't oh, need any yeah. kind of talent to like use that, and it just well, shreds through people. The end of season one, so I I played I like play all early. of season one, and I was like, nah. I sucks. came back and played when they did Fortnite two for a little bit, but I was just like, I what still the fuck is just- Fortnite two. They like season they, they two, like nuked whatever. they nuked the game and like restarted oh, yeah, it yeah. basically. Yeah. Oh, and a new then, map uh, and shit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, everything was new. And I tried that and I still just like the, I couldn't outbuild the kids. So I was just like I Yeah. Like I could outshoot people easily, but not uh not outbuild. I can't my, yeah. my little pea brain couldn't comprehend. Yeah, fuck that. I I'm was, ready for another GTA. Yeah. Same dude. GTA but 6. Didn't they already say it's going to the GTA 5 is going to be released on the new yeah. Xbox and new PS5? Are you serious? Dude, that, uh-huh. The that second now, console now. So third. third. Third console, third console bro. bro. No, PS3, up, PS Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's P- what I mean. PS3, yeah, the second Xbox. next gen. Oh, my name yeah. is the Duh. They I just <laughs> phrased it wrong. <laughs> my name is the actually it is actually so fucked though. To think that game came out like when I was like in bef- like grade eleven in high school, mm-hmm. like that is fucking insane. And the fact how that like that game has lived. When I used to have a PS2, popular. there was like five GTAs that came out on PS2. I know, and now it's been- but to be fair, the standard for games has changed so much yeah. since then. Like people always do like comparisons of like oh look how many fucking for example gta games came out in this time span but like back then the map was like you could drive across it in five minutes yeah. and nobody complained there, and was, there was no, no like online there was no balancing. yeah yeah and like nobody fucking complained about that shit because that's what you got at the time mm-hmm. and then now people just expect so much more and so much more but then they complain about development time so it's like gamers are literally the most brain dead species on the planet yeah and i will always <laughs> stand by that it's like, like an exact mix of people that constantly want updates but also want it to be the same don't want to wait well yeah or, that or, like, too, or yeah. fucking cyberpunk, well, you'll just like, you'll never make example. anyone happy you'll yeah. never make anyone happy yeah, yeah cyberpunk is such a good example of that like they put out this video and everyone was like the combat looks like shit and they're like you're right we're gonna redo the combat so the game's gonna be delayed again and everyone was like fuck you just push it out with this <laughs> bad combat and update it later yeah. what what yeah. do you want <laughs> Well, oh, I feel like so- if you just make a game that's fun, people will like it. Like, dude, think about Among Us. It's so fucking simple. The game it is, is, a, it is a six dollar. It is uh, a yeah. six dollar game that you can download in a second. You can play it on your phone. Like, yep. yeah. And it is just popping off Among on YouTube Among Us right and now. Fall like, Guys were exactly. the most refreshing games to come out in so and long. And it probably costs like, no money to develop. Yeah, like, oh yeah. And oh, yeah. just anybody can play them. All they are is stupid fun with friends, and it's just like. That's such a that's a market that's been ignored for so fucking long. Yeah, and it's been like, look how fucking real this yeah. like first person shooter competitive game is. I don't give a shit about graphics. Is. Yeah. Oh, Tarkov is the realest experience. No fuck, just come up with a fun concept. Yeah, okay, like, Tarkov these, is kind of fun though. Plugs. Here's these butt plugs running around. And it's like, yeah, that's fun. Tarkov <laughs> is kind of fun though. I will admit. No, it, it is, scary. but it, but it's just like, I don't know. Nobody just focuses on the fun aspect of games. Everything's so like competitive now, and like yeah. tries to just you know just try to get as skilled as you can in most games like there's very few like fun party games that come out other than like nintendo so yeah nintendo like eats sleeps and breathes that kind of stuff party yeah. games yeah that's all Dude, they are but like fucking friday they're they're releasing the remastered uh mario 64 yep. sunshine and galaxy oh really oh, can't I'm fucking wait dude but it's the same Sun. day as cold war so Oh yeah, Cold did War can the, wait. <laughs> did you see the Mario Kart that you can play in your freaking living room? You can like set up checkpoints. Oh, and stuff? dude, yeah, you can wait, like what? make a track in your living room. Yeah, you. you they and give you like around, a little, like... A, a little cart. You can make like your own track in your living room, and it's like some sort of weird VR. You like see it from the vision of your truck, 
your little thing on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> There's I like a camera on the back of the cart. Yeah. And it, oh, you get the view of the camera. Uh, and like the items and shit are like uh, virtual and pop up. That and sounds pretty just, dope. Like, pop up in your living room. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty oh, dope. Oh, like reality. Are, like, yeah, the other drivers are like uh, virtual as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then there's like, uh, actually, if you play it with a friend, their cart will, you know, you can like throw items at their cart and it'll stop their cart in real life and shit. Yeah, and it, like it looks. It the game. If I was, huh. oh shit, I want it now, but I was going to say if I was 12, I'd be creaming my pants. Bro, right if I was a kid, oh my God, yeah. I'd be jerking off on that little goat. Bro, <laughs> Nintendo, yeah. Nintendo does not know what they're doing in a business standpoint or being in touch with any of their audience but those motherfuckers know how to make a goddamn game that's all they know how to do but they do it better than like any company i can think of out there like all they know is how to make fucking games their marketing is dog shit their customer support's fucking horrendous they're like so out of touch like with not allowing youtubers to upload shit until like recently yeah. like they would claim it and like yeah. they were so out of touch but they know how to make a goddamn fucking game it's crazy oh, yeah. how talented everyone over there is like it's make just, it the oh, we just nuts. like exploded the gaming industry open. I like, know when they came out with that. It was unreal. And well, it just blows my it. mind that they could have made like one Mario and Zelda game and still to this day like bank off of that. Yeah, but <laughs> like, they don't even need to do shit. That like, they just re-release the old shit and people eat it up. Mm. Yeah, yep. that's how good it is. Yeah, I don't know. They're uh, they're pretty insane at making games. Yeah, I can't wait till Friday. It's going to be epic. I'm just excited for Sunshine. I think that was my most played game for like, oh God, the first like five, ten years I played video games. I used to try to like speed run it without actually knowing how to speed run. I would just like personally try to figure out how to do it faster every time. I played through that game so many fucking times, man. And like, like I love the soundtrack to it. I love everything about that game. I didn't play that much uh, Mario 64. But I did play a decent amount of uh, Galaxy, so I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. You know what I love? Very, like, relaxing. What? I love when podcasts don't go further than an hour and five minutes, so I think that's a good time to end this. Wow, show. you oh, fucking wow. piece of shit. <laughs> My <laughs> God. We're just having a fun Absolute conversation. I know, I know, I know. Just, we're just, Absolute garbage. We're kind of drunning on here at the end. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. That's why your state's wow. on fire, because you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah. You hear that? McNasty hates the viewers. He wants us to stop talking. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. we're probably just enjoying that. I can only handle yeah. your guys' voice for like an hour before I want to just blow my brains out. That's that's fair. Yeah. I that's I agree me. with that entirely, but mm-hmm. still, I'm not doing the outro this time. I think that's why head. I think that's why Among Us playing is working so well because like 80 percent of the time nobody's talking. To to each yeah. other. <laughs> yep. So nice. Uh, <laughs> it's the perfect game. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. You want to end your little end with your little thing, soup? Yeah, I can't wait for ass. Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> You're not gonna do it this time. I, know, I, I'm very I ended your Mario Kart yeah. conversation. More right. Mario. Come on, babe. Come Nintendo. on. Yeah. Come on, babe. Nope, I'm not doing it. You Come on, babe. Voice. Come nope. on. <laughs> like, comment, no, subscribe. Nas- no, like, comment. Nas- <laughs> <laughs> okay, they did it. All like, right. comment, subscribe. That's all. Come and shit and piss.